so I have bought a doll to bring to the studio uh, to show some poses that I do, some wrapping techniques. And it's also nice to have in this studio for uh, to show, for example, dads how they can hold the baby um, or moms <laughs> uh, for the photo. Like just to explain a pose. To have a doll. This one is. Uh, how long is she? Well, she does make some noise. Uh, so I'm going to remove the battery so she doesn't scare anyone. Um, doesn't really show how big it is. But I'll show you. So here you have me. Here you have the baby doll. To kind of put it in perspective. I think she's about like 40 centimeters, 45. So almost the size of a newborn. Um, she has a hole in her mouth. And I think she makes some noise. Oh yeah, her name is Sophie. That's what the box says. The box is already half destroyed because it was in the car. Let me see. Oh, there you go. I have no idea what that means. That's weird. That sounds more like a kit. That's strange sounds. Okay, I'm gonna take her out of here and get some scissors. Seriously? sound like a newborn. Somebody is kidnapping Sophie. <laughs> She's well taken care of. Now I have to kidnap her to the studio. I don't know if he's gonna like it. Well hello, thank you so much for watching this video. In this very short video I'm just gonna show you uh, maybe two or three basic reps that I do on newborn babies. So I got my lovely assistant Zoe here and she still has a sound device in her belly. So I'm just gonna open her up and take it out because otherwise it scares the heck out of people. Anyway, so here we've got Zoe. She's a little bit smaller than a real newborn. newborn. I think she's about 40 centimeters. Newborns are usually around 50 centimeters. Of course, she doesn't have the weight of a newborn nor the movements um, but it's just a very cheap doll which I bought to show you um, two reps that I do a lot make sure when you photograph newborns that you study photography first you have good equipment you know what you're doing then attend a workshop given by a good professional newborn photographer invest in your education pay for the workshop uh, don't expect it to be cheap. Study babies, the anatomy of babies. Don't try any difficult poses. Make sure that everything you use is clean, is warm, is comfortable for the baby. Safety first. Make sure that the baby's always safe and comfortable. Anyway, I got my big bean bag underneath here. There's a little pillow right here underneath the head. Um, usually I have my baby shusher, extra heat. It's already like 23 degrees Celsius here. I'll put the Fahrenheit somewhere in the screen So one of my basic wraps is just uh, Placing the wrap. Well, actually before I place the baby on there I put the wrap on the beanbag so that the wrap is already there Then I gently place my newborn baby on the wrap Make sure that the wrap is on shoulder um, level then I'll gently cross the legs. You can easily feel if a baby likes his or her legs to be close to the body or not so close. When the baby was born breech and breech during pregnancy, they might want to have keep their legs stretched. If a baby is um, not going with the pose, don't force the pose onto the baby. Just feel what the baby wants. So this baby is very willing to cross her legs. So I will keep the legs in, the arms in, and just put the wrap around the bottom, other arm in, going up again. So the wrap is securing the, the legs. You can just gently put the wrap around the head and go around the circle again. No knots, the baby will keep the wrap down with his or her body weight. This doll doesn't have any body weight. That's okay. So we'll keep the arms in nice and secure. Baby likes to feel secured, uh, safe, like in the mother's womb. Just very, like she's hugged 
fire fabric, whatever. So you just gently place it around the head and then just tuck it underneath. So that's one wrap that I do. You just wrap it around the baby, keep the feet in. You can just put it around the um, back part of the foot. Keep the arms in. Some babies want to have their arms out, but it's nice to have it around their shoulders. And then you have this small little package of baby. Parents can hold the baby like this in the photo. Beautiful. Um, I can just gently pick up the baby and place him or her in a bowl and she will feel nice and secured. Um, if the legs don't go up very far and you see the diaper, I photograph with the diaper. I have little pieces of fabric and then I will of course grab like a matching color. I just cut them off like uh, wraps that I have and before I start wrapping or maybe after it doesn't matter I'll just put the fabric in here cover maybe the belly if the parents don't want to have like a bare belly you can even use the same fabric as the wrap just cut a part off place it around the belly covering the diaper so that's one wrap that I do
really hope you enjoyed watch enjoyed watching this little video on two very easy wrapping techniques um and yeah have a really nice day bye bye